Good evening, everybody. This is Rich and Katie down here in the river, the richest river smokers, West Virginia. Boom! That's starting to sound pretty professional. After 103 videos, I hope so. I would sure to hope. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right, folks. What we're going to do today is something that one of my uh, on our Facebook group on River Smokers Unlimited um, some time ago we had a stuffed challenge and a friend of mine actually did a stuffed brisket point so what we have here is we have a trimmed up brisket point and we have one green red orange one white onion and three cloves of garlic in there so what we're going to do is we're going to stuff this so we get back to you when we stuff this thing all right back we got our point trimmed up the best we could opened up in a pocket on that side and a pocket on this side the best i can definitely not a butcher so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and grab a handful of this and we're gonna start stuffing this brisket on this end. You see how much it'll hold in there? <laughs> I don't know how much it'll hold. But we'll go ahead and stuff it up in there. So you kind of get the idea. We get this pocket stuffed up and we'll get to the other side. We'll see you on the other side. All right, back. We got this brisket stuffed up. And boy, what a, what a chore that was. So we don't, <laughs> we don't have meat buttons, so um, we just use a bunch of our skewers, as you can see. And what we're going to do is we're dusting it up with some OBQ's Big Bulls Texas rib, Texas rub, brisket rub. We're just going to hit it. Again, we just stuffed it with one green pepper, one orange pepper, one white onion, three cloves of garlic, and um, I believe that's it. But I'll tell you what, it smells good, doesn't it, babe? Yeah, it does. So, we'll get this thing rubbed up. This, this OBQ, you really can't get too wrong with this stuff. It's not really what you want to call a big, beefy, um, like a really savory rub to me. So it's a different to like. I'll leave a link to these guys in the description box. Oh, that's good, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, you gonna bring it up to me. I don't remember how to do this way. Just move it. Ta-da! There you go. All right. All right, guys. We got this thing rubbed up. We're gonna leave it set in the refrigerator and get all happy tonight we're gonna put on our we're gonna we're call for some big heavy rain here tomorrow and i was actually going to do it on my stick burner on, on oklahoma joe on some pecan and hickory wood and let it let it do its thing but however because of the rain it would force me to use the green mountain grill daniel boone pellet smoker with some pecan chips or pecan pellets so we're gonna leave this thing sit every night and we'll see you out at the Green Mountain Grill. Good morning, everybody. It's Rich down here on the river. It's been overnight. Our brisket point has set overnight. Stuffed it with, again, a white onion, a red pepper, yellow, uh, red pepper, <laughs> green pepper, and orange pepper, I believe. Can't remember the colors. But anyway, on the red, orange, and green, yeah, uh, onion, three garlic cloves. I couldn't quite get all the mixture into the brisket. My first time even trying to stuff a brisket, like I've seen it done. Well, not done, done, but I've ate one. And I'll tell you what, <laughs> done right, that is good. And again, we um, rubbed it with a OBQ, Texas brisket rub from OBQ. I'll leave that link in the description box. We got our internet back up, so I'm able to put cards in. I think it's great. So let's get a shot of this brisket right here. Look at that. That thing is awesome. 
Then we got our Daniel Boone fired up right there. Sorry, a little adjustment. Katie, Miss Katie's inside waking up. So we're gonna get ahead and um, give you a little zoom in, maybe. No, I can't do it. All right. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna put this thing on, and um, we're gonna put it on 160 for about you know two hours. I want some really good smoke flavor in this. We'll put that there. We'll get her closed up. That thing. That thing's great. So we'll put her to sleep. Get you back up here, Timmy. Awesome. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that on the smoke with pecan from Barbecuers Delight. I'll go ahead and leave that link in the description box. I like their pellets. The best pellets I've come across. So we're gonna smoke it for two hours at 160 degrees because on a, um, I don't know if, if Rectech and all those are the same, but um, at least on a, a Green Mountain Grill, um, they say that uh, in, in the manual between 150 and 170 is prime smoking if you wanna get a lot of smoke into your stuff. But if you smoke it, cook it long enough at 230, 250, of course, you know, you'll get some smoke in it. But the fact of it is, the hotter you run the grill, the less smoke you get. So it's kind of like, you know, common sense. So I run mine at 160. I usually smoke them for an hour, but it's a pretty big piece of beef. And I want a nice little smoke ring, and I want some smoke in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to smoke out for about two hours, come back, and we're going to kick up the pit to about 250, 230 maybe. I like cooking at 230, 235. And then we'll start spritzing it with a little bit of red wine vinegar to give it a little nice little color and, and it helps tenderize that meat, allegedly. So guys, we'll get back to you here in about two hours. Hi everybody, we're back. Um, it's raining down here on the river, it's crazy. Um, it's just as I thought yesterday, I told you yesterday it's just rain. I really wanted to use my stick burner, back home with Joe. <clears throat> Yeah, but uh, we got the old Daniel Boone fired up. It's been two hours. We threw some smoke on that, pecan smoke on that point. And now we're gonna go ahead, we kicked it up at 235. Get a little damp down here on the river today. So let's go ahead and get a look at this thing. I'm sure we'll get a good look see of it. I don't know why it won't let me zoom in. I don't know, anyway. There we go. Not bad. Take you in a little closer here. It's not bad looking. So it's got, you know, that OBQ really didn't. Oh. Mm. Pardon that. Mm. Good lord. The OBQ really didn't bark up like I thought it would. I don't know. I think it sweat overnight. Really didn't. We're gonna make it sweat a whole lot. So yeah, I got my porch lights on. It, it's awful dark out here in the corner, believe it or not, you know, for video's sake. But um like I said, we just kicked it up at 235. We're gonna leave it sit there and do his thing. Um we're gonna come out in probably another three hours and temp it and see where we're at. So we'll see when we stick the old thermopop in it. Alright Bonnie. We spritzed that brisket point already. It's been about an hour and a half since I've seen you last. We actually kicked the pit to 250 because uh, I didn't realize what time it was and we got it. We got We want to have to serve this thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the light back on so everybody can see. All right, we just spritzed it about 20 minutes ago with um, with apple cider vinegar. I love the little twang it gives it. And this, this stuff has nice color. Check it out. Check this thing out, folks. This thing is looking pretty good. It'll get you down there, get you good. Look at that. The color is out of this world. Get you in there so you can see the color. The color of that is great. 
So, yeah, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to simply just go ahead and we're going to put a little Texas rib candy, Texas pepper jelly rib candy, apple, ha apple cherry habanero. We got a lot of stuff we need to get out of the refrigerator. Oh, man, you can, you can smell that. So the, the peppers and the cherry and the apple. We're just going to give this a nice little coating because the heat does kind of go away. So we'll just get this on here ever so slightly. Try this, folks. I, I never thought you could stuff a brisket until I saw one of my friends on the Facebook group do it. I thought, well, gee, that's pretty nifty. So look at this thing. You know, we're going to wrap it soon. I want the vegetables inside to cook. I want everything to be nice and tender. Uh, this is going to be a nice little cup of beef. So. so there we go. We got our rib candy on. Wow. Oh. oh, that's pretty good, folks. Oh. oh, my camera fell out. There we go. Whew. Let me sit there. Get that lid shut down, this thing. I'll give you an official taste test of this apple, not babanero. Apple cherry. Have an error. Mm. This has it's nice. The trick to this is let it hit your tongue. You want to go directly to the back of your throat. You'll feel it then. It's a pleasant warmth. For a habanero, it's not too bad. It's really good stuff. Check it out. I'll leave a link in the description box. Texas, pep Texas Pepper Jelly Company. That's the Rib Candy Apple Cherry Habanero. Apple Cherry Habanero. We're going to leave this stuff glaze up. We're going to probably leave it go for another half hour. And then we're going to go ahead and wrap this puppy up. We'll see when we wrap it. All right, everybody. It's Rich. <laughs> you know me. I don't know why the hell I keep saying Rich, but we're back. And this brisket is looking, I mean, it's really looking good. So we're gonna go ahead and temp it. It's been about an hour. So we're gonna go ahead and temp it and see what we got going on here. I think it looks good. It smells good, looks good. Looks like we're about 150 all the way around the board. So what we'll do, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take this thing off. We're gonna take it inside and we're gonna wrap it in aluminum foil. And maybe add a little Worcestershire sauce to the foil. Don't know yet, but we'll see you inside. All right, we're back, we're inside. And we pulled the skewers out of this thing. All them skewers we had, look at that. Like it's going to stay together. And you can really smell the peppers and the onions and the garlic coming out of that thing. You know, if you put eyeballs on it, it'd look like one of them weird fish. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this thing up. I don't think we're going to put nothing. I was going to put some Worcestershire sauce in it. I think it's going to leave it alone. I think I don't get away from the flavor profile that I'm looking for. So we've got the color I want. Now I'm going for the tenderness that we want. The probe tender. I'm not so sure I want this thing falling apart. So get this thing wrapped up. So we'll see you back out at the Green Mountain Grill. Alright, we're back. We're back outside and we got this brisket point wrapped up in aluminum foil. Didn't use any Worcestershire sauce, like I said. I like the way this is going to smell in. I think I like the way it's going to taste. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this back on. 
put it right there. Ah. I'm gonna leave that thing go for probably two, three hours. It was at 150 when we put it in there, when we checked it with the thermal pop. Excuse me. It was 150. We're gonna go to about 200, something like that. I'm gonna be able to cut it and slice it. You know, cut it open and, and we got some cheese to uh, put it on it when we got it cut open. So, we'll see you here in a little bit, guys. Everybody, we're back. Um, <laughs> it's putting down some rain. We got our lights on. Um, the brisket, this just, just temp the brisket is at 210 degrees. We're going to go ahead and pull it off the cooker, take it inside and uh, steam it off and let it rest. We'll, we'll get you back when we get inside and get it on the table. All right, back. we got this brisket point in here and we are going to let this thing rest for about a half hour and then we're going to get to it. I'm going to slice this thing up for a little bit of dinner. All right, we're back. This brisket point has had a chance to, to rest up good. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into this thing. We're going to cut this thing in half and see what we got. Look at our vegetables. That smoke ring. Do you see that or not? Look at that. Boy, it looks good. That smoke ring. It smells good. You smell the peppers and the onions. I mean, she so just kind of chopped this up. Chop it up style, you know. So you make some, uh, still plenty hot, folks. Look at all that nice beef. Wow. I didn't want it shredded, I want it cooked just like this so we can actually have a little texture on the beef. So that thing is looking pretty good. So we'll make our sub. I'm going to get back with a taste test. Actually, we'll make our sub now. Sorry. <laughs> so you want some, uh, simply just want some, some beef and some vegetables here. Got some more red peppers and green peppers and a piece of garlic. There's some of the, right there. Oh, look at that. That is great. We're gonna top it with a little bit of cheese. And we're gonna, we are gonna stick this back out on the cooker to melt the cheese and we'll get back to you on the taste test. We got our sub, our cheese melted on our Brisket, stop brisket sub. Leave that cool down a minute. Man, man. I tell you folks, if you haven't stuffed the brisket, you gotta try it. Again, we used one pepper, one green pepper, one orange, one bread, one onion, three cloves of garlic. And man, the meat is where I want it to be. You see the smoke ring on that? And it's crazy. Mm. Tender. That OBQ rub. That's something. Mm. Mm. Very good. Now for our sub. Has green peppers, red peppers, onions, and garlic. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. The mozzarella goes good with the, the brisket. The the brisket, the the vegetables, the bread. Very good guys. Again we use OBQ's beef and brisket rub. I'll leave that link in the description box. 
You gotta try this. This stuff is good. Mm. Even if it's not even the flavor, of the onions and peppers are all through the beef. If you got means to try this, by all means. I keep eating it. <laughs> so you're gonna get this thing chopped up for dinner. Try this stuffed brisket. You won't see it too many places, folks. Get out there and try it. It is worth trying. Let me tell you. Oh man. Man. Wow. Oh, oh, hot. Mm. Guys, if you like this, hit the thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. And let me tell you, it's great. Share it with your friends and family. And we do. Tell them the best, best barbecue comes from the river. We'll see you on the next one, folks.